What's up y'all, welcome back. So here we are part two in this little series. Um, if you're catching this video first, I will link the video um, up top that is the first video of this little thing we're doing, this little project. And uh, yeah, go watch that one if you want to and then come back and watch this one. Um, so where I left off last, we were getting ready to lay the color down on the wheels. And so um, yeah, we're just gonna jump right into that this time and uh, get started. Um, in the last video also, it was getting kind of late in the evening, but we're gonna run through the night hopefully and uh, get this thing done, um, hoping. <laughs> All right, first coat on this one. Um, like I said, it's a light dusting. In the first video, I've been trying to keep myself from like laying it on too thick. So a little light dusting, and then this one was the third coat, I think. So laid that one on a little bit thicker. Um, it's looking good so far. Um, really, really happy with this, um, and it's turning out nice. I can't wait to do the front wheels and see this thing totally done. Oh, dudes and dudettes, we got, um, we got some black wheels. They are um, four sprays per one. Uh, we still got to do some like touch-ups in like the lug nut holes and all that, um, but they're looking so good. Um, there's still some dings in this one, which this was the worst one of the two in the back. Uh, so, I mean, given the circumstances, I'm like super excited about it, but I'm also kind of bummed because um, there are some like dings in there, but they're just so deep. So um, I'm happy with it. It's gonna look awesome. Uh, yeah, almost ready for clear. What's really going to make these pop on the car is when we put these lug nuts on there. Look at that. Against that black, shit. Okay, these should be good. I'm going to lay down some clear now and probably just do like two coats just to get them covered. Uh, the first coat's not always the best. Uh, so we'll do the one and then we'll lay on the second coat and hope that they turn out great. Um, there is some dirt in the wheels, and honestly, if these weren't her winter wheels, I would probably be a little bit bothered by that, but they're just winter wheels, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. Uh, my high-tech booth, um, and they're doing construction, like, right over there, so all the dirt's, like, kind of in the air, so can't really help that. So, um, yeah, we will break some clear. All right, first coat is down, and um, normally clear doesn't look that good for the first coat, but um, this stuff lays down really good. I really like this 2X clear stuff. Um, I started using it when I did the truck interior. Um, I'll link that video up top as well, but um, I started using this then, and uh, I really, really like how that stuff lays down, at least for a rattle can. Okay, these should be almost ready for the second coat. Um, if you saw on the clip there on the first coat, I did just like a light misting. Uh, coat just to introduce the clear to the wheel um, and now we'll go back and do a thicker coat and then we are that much closer to putting these back on the car. Oh, I'm just so excited and pleased with how these turned out. Um, they just look so good. I'm really glad I'd done that with the rash and fixed all that because man they look a thousand times better. Um, I am about ready to throw them on the car and then we will turn the car around and take the front ones off and begin that process. Um, one of the front wheels is not that bad, so it shouldn't take that long, and then the other one is about as bad as that one, <laughs> so that should be fun. I know I should probably wait a little longer before I put them on the car, but um, one, I'm excited, and two, um, I don't really have the time to do that, so um, yeah, let's just throw them on, see how it looks, and uh, keep working. Okay, we got the car outside, so now we have the garage all to ourselves to do this work. Um, it's getting kind of cold outside and the car wouldn't fit in here and be able to do the work. So um, I got it outside, took off one wheel, cleaned it already. And so, yeah, if you haven't watched the first video, first, shame on you. Second, um, this is what we're doing. We are fixing the curb rash um, on all four wheels because the previous owner apparently did not give a shit and just curbed them all to pieces. So 
The driver's side hasn't been so bad. So this one is the driver's side wheel. There's only a few little dings on it. So um, we're gonna sand this one, uh, possibly putty, and then we'll scuff it up and paint it and good to go. Oh yeah, to explain further, um, starting out, we're using 180 and that will knock down the uh, actual curb rash itself. Um, and then we're going back over it with 320 to kind of like smooth it over. Um, we're using some glazing putty to put in the deeper stuff. Um, and then sanding that back off and then we're using a maroon scuff pad for the face. Um, this is way more than I've normally done ever for a set of wheels that we use for just the winter time. Uh, but I wanted to go the extra mile for these just to see what I could do and uh, see if we could fix this curb rash because the passenger side is pretty rough. So um, yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, that was quick. Um, it actually feels pretty smooth now, um, but I still feel some edges and whatnot, so I'm gonna putty it anyway. Um, I mean, we're going this far, might as well. So yeah, let's throw some putty on here and we'll let it dry and we'll sand that right back off. All right, so, we're gonna let this dry. Um, there's not a lot of putty on there, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, and then we'll sand it off and we'll see where we're at. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of deep stuff on there, so I'm hoping we can get by with just one coat. Because um, we put uh, two or three, three coats on the one wheel um, on the rear. So um, yeah, let's hope this one coat does it and then we can just scuff this up and get to painting. And again, if you haven't seen the first video, um, we're using this glazing putty because uh, it's supposedly easier to sand than the regular Bondo. Um, and this brand here doesn't require like a catalyst or a hardener or whatever. So um, straight out of the tube and onto the wheel. Um, and from what, it's been a long time, but from what I remember of Bondo, uh, this is way easier to sand. But yeah, it is drying up. We've still got a couple little wet spots. And so um, once that dries all the way, we will sand it right off of there. And I think I'm gonna skip the 180 because this is so light um, of a coat on there. Um, I don't wanna scuff it up too bad. So I'm gonna use 320 on this to start and uh, see where it takes us. All right, here we go. Um, I'm gonna start on this. It's still a little wet in some places, but it'll sand off and I'm impatient. So let's do it. Okay, that feels really good. So um, I'm gonna go with one coat and uh, now we're gonna scuff it up with the maroon pad and um, yeah, get to lay in some primer and then some paint. All right, so I put the primer on there and it's starting to fish eye in like two places. So I'm gonna let it dry all the way and then we'll scuff it up again and we'll add the color to it. Um, I was really hoping to get it all done today, but um, it's like midnight right now and I've been going for like 16 hours today. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it off now and then we'll jump back into the next day and we'll get it all taken care of. All right, it's a new day, so let's just hop right into this. Um, we're gonna back the car out, get that one wheel off, sand it a little bit because the fish eyes, uh, work on the other wheel and then this thing's done. We'll have to uh, for sure wash the car because there is dust <laughs> all over it from the sanding and everything. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so I went ahead and scuffed it up around where the fish eyeing was happening, like around some of the edges there. Um, I wiped it down again and so we should be good to spray now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray on the first like light coat of black just to introduce the paint to the wheel um, and see if it's gonna do it again on the fish eyeing. Um, shouldn't, but you never know. So let's go ahead and try it and uh, see what we got. Okay, um, I'm actually going to call that good because, uh, <laughs> like I said, I've been trying to get myself to do lighter coats and not just like soak something down with paint um, and understand that it will cover eventually. Just might take a little bit more time. So. Um, yeah, trying to work on the patience and trying to get the end result that I want. So that should be good for the first coat. We'll let that dry for five, 10 minutes and then we'll lay down the second coat 
and keep going from there until we can get it all the way black and looking super solid. Okay, while this coat is drying, I'm gonna go take off that last wheel and clean that one up. That way that's done and we can get straight to work on it when this is done being painted. All right, I went ahead and put the third and fourth coat on there. Uh, the fourth coat was kind of just like getting in the cracks and crevices and making sure the wheel is all good to go. So um, all the black's on there. It's ready for clear. It's been drying for about a half an hour, um, ready for clear. And then one more wheel to do and this thing is completed. Alright, here we are, the last wheel. Um, I got it sanded down already uh, with the 180 and the 320. Uh, we're getting ready to put the putty on. Um, this one has like some really deep, like straight up gashes and chunks taken out, um, just like the other one did on the passenger side. Um, so we're gonna do what we can. That's a good one right there. Um, we're gonna do what we can. Um, anything is better than what they look like now. So uh, yeah, let's get the putty on there and uh, see what we can do. Okay, round one of putty is on. Um, let it dry, sand it off, putty it again, <laughs> let it dry, sand it off. Um, this wheel over here, um, since it's been drying, there has been some kind of reaction on the face, on the spokes there. Um, I'm not happy about it. Uh, <laughs> I don't like how it looks right now, so we're going to fix that in a little bit. We're going to let it dry a little bit longer, and then we'll wet sand it and see what that does. So cross our fingers that that turns out good, but yeah. This is the thing right now. Just let this dry and we'll sand it back off and get this putty done and then we can paint this one too. All right, so I don't know if you can see it or not, but like there's these little like pin needle um, spots all over it um, on like a few of the spokes and stuff. So um, I don't think I waited long enough between coats of clear or I put the clear on too thick and that's what's causing that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna attempt to wet sand it back off. I'm gonna do the whole thing just to be sure because I don't wanna like do it and then something else happens. So. I'm gonna wet sand all that and try to get it fixed. Um, I have to keep telling myself that these are just wheels that we're gonna put on in the winter time, but I still don't wanna half-ass it, so yeah. All right, so here's the deal. Um, I figured you guys had seen enough sanding and sanding and sanding and sanding <laughs> in these videos, um, or this video for that matter, if you've just seen this one. So I just planned on doing the wheels, getting them all done and putting them back on the car and uh, kind of wrapping things up. But I started doing that and a uh, massive storm came, <laughs> tons of rain. Um, and so I had to put the wheels back on in the rain. Um, and so I didn't film anything during that because I was just trying to rush. I was in such a hurry. But it's a couple of days later and um, yeah, we got the car cleaned up and here's the car with the wheels on. I am really excited with how that turned out. Um, it looks so much better now. I'm really glad I decided to fix that curb rash. There's still some nicks and stuff in it, but I mean, from where it was to now is night and day. And especially going from silver to black wheels, I love how just changing the color can change the whole look of the car. Um, I don't know what it is, but I just cannot do silver wheels, whether they're stock, aftermarket, <laughs> whatever. I just, I never have been able to do silver wheels. I think black, graphite, um, any other color really makes it look <laughs> so much meaner. Um, for whatever reason, silver is not my cup of tea. But um, that is why they make several colors of wheels because everyone has their own tastes. And black just happens to be my choice. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up here. Um, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it very much. As always, drop a comment down below and let me know what you think of the project, uh, how it looks. If you're gonna plan on doing this, if you've done this before, um, how did you do it? Anything, I'd be glad to chat. And while you're down there, don't forget to do all the other YouTube things. You guys know how it goes here. I hate that it works, but it does. It helps the channel out a ton. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Oh wait, before you go, I do wanna say, uh, shamelessly plug your brand a little bit. We just dropped a new fall line. There's tons of cool stuff on there. A special edition Halloween shirt that I am very excited about. Um, I'll probably have that one up for a couple more weeks and then take it down. But yeah, I'll have all that linked down below. Check it out if you want to, I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, bye.